So what is my thoughts about the Commander High Torque and the Commander High Speed when I've been riding with them for a while? Why there is one that is quite interesting, have some features that I prefer in the other one, but there is another one that is simply rubbish. This is just the first episode. If you want to know everything about it, stay tuned until the end of the video. Hi everyone, Marcus here from Edpack and if you love EUC PVs and everything that have an E of electricity, this is the place for you. And today we are going to talk about the Commander High Torque and the Commander High Speed. As a disclaimer, I have to say to you guys that I simply hated the Commander High Torque. And I've been riding for a while already with this one. I installed Velcro. I put my favorite power pads, the Grizzler pads. If you want to purchase them, they are 5% off on the channel, so feel free to use it. Even changing the power pads, putting my favorites, mm, is definitely not the wheel for me and I will definitely recommend you to skip. But today we are basically going to cover the features, everything that I like and then I don't like, what they could have built better or is not so good. Let's start from the top and looking from the top, obviously you have these two handles that I simply like it, but I would like that these handles was in metal. I'm a bit concerned that over time with the heat or something, they start breaking because they have the same issue as you have on big odd wheels, like it happens on the MSP. If you have a crash, this will open. So I'm a bit concerned about the durability of these handles, but just to say to you guys, even if it's not a big odd wheel, it's a big odd wheel because the motherboard is the same that you'll find on the MSP and also the motor is the same that you find on the MSP but this is basically it feels like an MSP on steroids. Next to it you have the power button on and off. I really like the position of it because it's impossible that you are riding and you just hit it. If you want to sit on your wheel you are not going to hit that button so also something that I really like on this one and here on the top you are going to find your charging ports. You have two charging ports so you can do a fast charging and also you have this disgusting screen that basically you have your battery, you have the temperature of your wheel, but in daylight it's basically impossible to use it. Only if you put some tape on the top. It's there, but it's the same as nothing. This handle, it's much better than the handles that you find on big odd wheels, so definitely a pro and is much more sturdy than the handle that you'll find on the Sherman Abrams that I simply, simply hated. When we look to the front, I have to say to you guys that this front light is rubbish, it's garbage. And obviously after having reviewed the veteran Abrams, it's even harder for me to say good things about these lights. I think they are completely in the past. And when you look to this one, it's exactly the same that you find on, for example, an MSP that is just pointing in front of you. It's bright, not bright enough now for my, my experience, but it doesn't show anything that is happening on the sides. And if you have just a small heel, it's impossible to see where you are going. It's just pointing very, very close to you. So definitely, I don't like that. When we drop a little bit lower, we are going to find this tire. That is basically very similar, if not the same that I have on my Emotion V11, that I simply like it. But these new wheels, they've been having an issue that uh, I've been experiencing in the Abrams, in the Commander, and that is related with the PSI. If you like to ride very high PSI's on your tires, you don't damage the rim, just skip the Commander. I tried all kinds of PSI's on this wheel, from 16 PSI to 32 PSI. So if you have tried the Sherman, it feels like a Sherman, but it doesn't feel like a Sherman when you are curving. So it's not a wheel for making curves like I've done with the Abrams, so it's not enjoyable on that side. And when you are trying to do a a slight curve with your commander it feels that it's hard and after you do the curve but if the pressure is too high you feel that your leg is getting underneath the wheel if it makes sense because the center of gravity of your tire is not really adjusted to the position of the pedals and where you are if it makes sense definitely something that i simply simply hated on the commander so for that i had to drop the psi to be honest for you guys, the best experience that I had was with 16 PSI, but I think it's too, too low. So after that, I started pulling the pressure up and also I tried with 28 PSI, 30 PSI and the best PSI for me was 23 PSI. I know it's quite low, but it automatically completely changed the wheel. And basically, like I was saying previously, it feels like a MSP in steroids. It's incredible how both of them, even if I simply hate one of them, 
both of them you don't feel like you are riding a wheel with 35 36 kilos and when we look to the sides i really like that it's a completely flat surface it's so easy to put your your power pad if you have one of these wheels that goes above 40 kilometers per hour you definitely need to buy power pads grizzler pads stock pads whatever is your preference but when we look a little bit further down you have here the pedals and they are quite big yes i like that but they are rubbish once again <laughs> so i really don't get it how it's possible obviously because this comes from big god basically they have very very good pedals and why they've done this i don't get it so the magnet is really really weak so it doesn't give you any reassurance that the pedals they stay in place you shake it and this one is open like you can see definitely not not the best it's quite easy to open they are not touching the shell so also it's not going to scratch but the pins that you have on the inside when they'll be gone they are gone and for me they don't have enough pins there if you want to purchase the commander i'll definitely recommend you to just throw these pedals and put some new pedals in there when we go to the back and this is something that i simply simply hated first of all you have the speakers on the back i really like the speakers but i simply hated the the place where they put them so first of all they are completely exposed all the dust goes in there and also if you think about the anatomy of the human body your ears they are pointing to the front the sound is coming from the back i don't think that is the best design and besides that you can see that this mudguard once again a big hot mudguard that is already bent just to use the stand and with the weight it just bent a little bit the plastic so definitely not the best all the this mud and all this dust is going straight away on your speakers but the speakers they are quite loud and the quality is not so bad not as good as an emotion v12 but have much more bass than the emotion v12 i really like this wheel i think there is nothing in the market like the commander but definitely don't buy the commander high torque i will be doing the review of the these two when we talk about performance really really soon so stay tuned for that video why you should purchase a commander so if you want a lot of range if you are not a very experienced rider but you want something that is very easy to accelerate and brake and very easy to get used to it even if you have 35 36 kilos this wheel is simply amazing another thing that i just want to point it out is this wheel gets warm very very easily so if you live in a country that is not like the uk that this weather is always horrible definitely don't purchase the commander high torque or the commander high speed because it goes up quite quite fast you don't need to be like just going up the hill okay milton kings where i live is quite flat and it gets warm very very easily so definitely have that in mind if you want to purchase the commander and when we talk about the plastics is much superior that you find on bigot standard so definitely something that i really like about this one but why you want to purchase a commander high speed or a commander high torque but i'll definitely not recommend you to go in that direction even if there is something that i prefer here that in this one when we talk about performance but we'll talk about that in that other video i think that this wheel is quite special but it came out in the wrong time if you have came last year will be very successful if you want to see a comparison of this wheel with the exn or with the sherman let me know in the comments below but i feel that this wheel it's different from a sherman and the exn and i have a exn torque and I'll, i can say to you guys that i'll swap straight away my exn torque for this one if you don't have a lot of experience riding electric unicycles if you want something that have a lot of range if you want a wheel that is fun in high speeds not curving around and you want something that is stable but is easy to maneuver have a decent handle and have some leads also something that i was not saying the leads also they are there during the day they are rubbish but during the night they are visible definitely this could be the wheel for you really soon i'll be telling you why i was also so annoyed with the commander high speed and took me so long to have an idea about this one and obviously when i jump in here why i simply hate it so that is the part two of this video so if you have any comments any suggestions or any questions leave in the comments below my name is marco this is Matt Peck. if you enjoyed this video don't forget to subscribe to the channel comment below smash the thumbs up do whatever you want but always with a smile on your face and i hope to see you in the next one